Hello, this is Pastor Malin Smith here at New Hope Baptist Church here in Watertown, New York, and I welcome you to Your Morning Hope. And this morning we're going to be looking at 1 John chapter 3, verses 4 to 6, and I want us to look today at how we can break away from habitual sin. 1 John 3, 4 to 6 says, Everyone who makes a practice of sinning also practices lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he appeared in order to take away sins and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him keeps on sinning. No one who keeps on sinning has either seen him or known him. That's 1 John chapter 3, verses 4-6. to six. And I really like how the English Standard Version renders this text. I think it captures most closely uh, what would have been the original reading in the Greek. Note there, it says, everyone who makes a practice of sinning. And so, many English translations will either just simply render it... Uh, sin or keep on sinning, but this emphasizes habitual practice. This is a habitual present. Um, so some may mistakenly think that this is referring to some sort of sinless perfectionism that John is advocating, but uh, John's not advocating sinless perfection here. Rather, he's talking about the issue of habitual sin. And what he's doing here, he's giving us an antidote uh, as to how we can break away from the pattern of habitual sin, as well as uh, using a diagnostic way of seeing uh, and, and distinguishing whether or not we have true saving faith. I heard uh, not too long ago one pastor talk about SOS uh, with reference to the gospel. In other words, uh, he was talking about show us our sins and show us our Savior. And I really liked that, and I found that to be very helpful, and so I thought we would use that in this uh, Morning Hope thought as we look here at 1 John 3, verses 4 to 6. Firstly, we see sin as sin here in verse 4. Notice again, everyone who makes a practice of sinning also practices lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. So what John is doing here, here, here he's just simply showing us our sins. He's showing us what sin is. Sin is lawlessness. Now, if we see how much our sin affects fellowship with God, as well as how it can either hurt ourselves or other believers, uh, that can oftentimes deter us from continuing or persisting in habitual sin. For instance, Psalm 66, 18 says, If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But you know, Sometimes uh, believers can get so ingrained in habitual sin that even looking at sin as revealed by the light of God's law, uh, sometimes they'll maybe say, you know what, it doesn't matter. And that's where we need to really begin to seriously question whether or not we're truly saved. You know, just because someone professes to be a Christian doesn't necessarily mean they're a Christian. There's always two things that I've always looked at, and I think First John uh, chapter 3 verses 4 to 6 bears it out plainly. I've always looked at what are my attitudes towards sin and what are my attitudes towards the Lord Jesus Christ. John is showing us our sin. He's saying that it's lawlessness. But you know, sometimes we can get so stubborn that that doesn't even deter us. And so that's where we really need to ask ourselves, am I truly a Christian? That's where we move to the second antidote, namely where John shows us our Savior. Again, looking there in 1 John chapter 3, note there in verse 5. You know that he appeared in order to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. There we see Jesus came to bring about the solution to our sin problem, namely himself. He came as the sinless one. And so when I see my Savior, when I see that he is sinless, that's how I really see that my sin is sin. All that the law of God can do is tell me, uh, that I have sin and that I'm condemned and that there's no way I can save myself. But then it points me to the Savior. And as I look at the Savior, it is in Him that I find the power to overcome habitual sin. And so, if I'm a true believer, when I see Christ, when I see His sinlessness, as well as how He regarded sin, that's how I'm going to break the love affair with habitual sin. We read in 1 Peter 2.22, He committed no sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth. You know, and I think about the Apostle Peter and how it was he denied our Lord three times. 
And we read in Luke 22, 61 to 62, these words. And the Lord turned and looked at Peter. And Peter remembered the saying of the Lord, how he had said to him, Before the rooster crows today, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. Now there in Luke 22, verses 61 to 62, there again it says, And the Lord turned and looked at Peter. And undoubtedly Peter would have been looking at the Lord at the same time. And the moment he looked at his Savior. He demonstrated he had true, genuine, saving faith. He saw his sinless Savior, and he went out and wept bitterly. On the other hand, Judas, uh, who had sold out our Lord for uh, 30 pieces of silver, he had remorse, yes, but he clung more to his own rights. He clung more to his own name rather than to his Lord. You see, he did not look to the Savior. But Peter, on the other hand, did. And even though he had messed up, even though he had fouled up, nevertheless, he looked to the Savior and demonstrated he had true saving faith. And that's why back here in 1 John 3, verse 6, we read, No one who abides in him keeps on sinning, and no one who keeps on sinning has either seen him or known him. And so if you're a true believer in Jesus Christ, and if you find yourself caught in a pattern of sin, you'll get tired of it. You won't want to do it anymore. And you'll want to look to your Savior. And that those things um, are only prompted in us by the Holy Spirit as He continually works in us, as He points us to Christ. And so, my friend, if uh, you find yourself caught in a habitual sin, let me close with 1 John 1 9, which says, If we confess our sins, He is just and faithful to forgive us all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So, Lord, show us our sins and show us our Savior so that we can break away from habitual sin. This is Pastor Malin Smith of New Hope Baptist Church in Watertown, New York, bidding you godly hope for this day.